Hi, everyone. I'm joined here by most of the MTech team, <laughs> Trish Rofi, Ben Prather, <laughs> and Trish's amazing kids have joined us to help us demo some brand new features that have rolled out to us here in Microsoft Teams. So first of all, thanks, Simon, thanks, Max, and thanks, Mary, for joining us to help us Woo demo these brand new features. So the first feature we want to share with all of you is we now have Tile View. Yay! <laughs> well, I can't show you what we are, but we are so excited to see everybody's faces and see This only applies to the installed version of the Teams app on your Windows machine or on your Mac. This does not apply right now, unfortunately, to the Chromebooks or the iPads. But this is exciting teacher tool. We can even say hi to our kids, right, Simon? Hi, Simon. Hi. <laughs> at once. What a beautiful thing. It's so good. Oh, it is. It's such a wonderful thing for connecting with all of our students, right? So great. Okay, the next feature that I'm excited to uh, announce that's part of the rollout is if we hover to bring up that toolbar and click on the three dots uh, in the center or the Timbit for more actions, we have the ability to turn on closed captions. I love this feature. So I just turned mine on, Christine, and as I'm talking, it's printing it across the bottom, adding that visual support. What's great is it only turns it on for me, the user. It doesn't turn it on for everyone else. So each person gets to control what they see. Exactly. Such a great accessibility feature, um, especially if you have any students in your class who uh, maybe need that extra visual support. Um, because of the hearing deficits, or maybe even for our ELL students, right? Well, I'm going to tell you this. I watch Netflix on with the subtitles all the time. It makes my kids crazy. And so, oh, you know, I yeah. like this subtitle view. This is awesome. And I can turn it off just with the same button. This is so great. And the best part is, Fabulous. unlike Netflix, you're the one who controls your own captions, so not everybody else has to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Ben. <laughs> okay, and the last feature that we are excited to share with you is, again, on that wonderful toolbar in the center, Woo! you will see Raise Your Hand. I love this feature. Look, at it just popped up. I saw Christine raise her hand. If you look over your participant button, I'm going to see who's raised their hand. Ah, good. I can see that presenter. I can also unraise their hand, lower their hand if I need to. Don't nope, put that down now. So this is a great way. I can see right now. Ben, I see your hand is raised. Do you want to unmute and tell me what you're thinking? Definitely. I'm thinking this is an awesome way for students to get your attention when they have a question. I and it love helps it. because exactly. now you don't have to enter it in the chat. You can raise your hand and then go live with your mic. Perfect for our littles who have maybe a little bit more trouble with keyboarding skills. Love yeah, it. This is fantastic. I love it. These features are going to be a game changer for you working with your students in Microsoft Teams. Now, just as Trish said earlier, though, keep in mind that these features are currently available in the desktop installed app for Macs as well as Windows 10 devices. I love this. Thanks, everybody. We hope this update makes your class video meetings even more better. Don't forget to check out events.ecsd.net for this and more tutorials and uh, workshops. But we hope you all have a great day, everybody. Woo! Thanks for being our guinea pigs. Bye, kids. Bye, kids. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs>